Hi everyone. Before you uh, watch this video or try this, you should know the binomial theorem and have worked with the binomial theorem. If not, uh, and I, there is a, I do have a video on that, but um, you should also be familiar with the, either this way of writing combinations or this way and know the formula there. Because um, we're going to talk about heads and tails and things like that. So, and I have some uh, examples. So, basically, um, uh, binomial experiments exist only if and only if the following conditions occur. There are exactly two possible outcomes for any trial. For example, if you toss a coin, you're either going to get a heads or a tails. There's a fixed number of trials. That means I'm going to say flip the coin, say, five times. The trials are independent. Um, one doesn't depend on the other, and the probability for the given outcome is the same for each trial. So the probability of tossing a head or a coin, for example, is one half. So um, basically, again, make sure you know the binomial theorem before you watch this. Okay, so here's an example. We want to, uh, what is the probability that four coins show heads and one coin shows a tail when five coins are tossed. So there's a fixed number of trials, five coins, um, and the possibility is either heads or tails, and, um, and the, the probability of getting a heads is one-fifth, probability of getting a, I mean not one-fifth, one-half, and the probability of getting a tail is one-half. So the way we set it up is, um, the probability of one head, four heads, I'm just going to write it this way, and one tail. So, what you're going to do is you're going to write um, the combination of, because we're tossing five coins, so we're taking four coins, four, we want four heads out of the five. And we're going to write heads, we want four, and tails, we want one. Now, you're going to substitute this. We should know that uh, this is five. <coughs> so, so this is five. And the possibility of a heads is one half. And the possibility of a tails is one half. So basically, since this is this, this is like the same base, this is really one half to the fifth. So it's five times this. So it's five over thirty-two. Remember, you have to do this part first, pindos. Now let's let's talk about what this means. Um, four heads. So let me um, talk about what this part here means. Instead of writing um, all, all the possibilities out. That means there's five ways to get four heads and one tail. So one, and I don't even know if I can think of it. It's supposed to be commas here, but I'm going to go a little fast. So there's one possibility. We could have tails first, heads, 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 heads. I'm not going to put the commas. Um, then we could have heads, tails, heads, heads, heads. We could have heads, heads, tail, heads, heads, and then you could have heads, 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 tails, heads. So we're talking about the different orders. So there's five possibilities of, of combinations that you could get. And that's what this part is about right here. Just this. So you don't have to write all those down. All right, and then we just uh, multiply it by that. So let's look at some other one. Find the probability of a coin if it's tossed five times. So the two heads. So we're going to write two, C, we're going to five and two. And the two goes with the heads. And so that means the tails has to be three. So we don't want to write all this out. Basically, this would be five factorial over 2 factorial, 3 factorial, which would be 10. So this equals 10. Okay, and you could just use a calculator. And um, 
this is one half squared times one half cubed because of the probability of getting a heads is one half and the tails is one half. So it's ten times one half to the fifth, which is ten over thirty two, which is five over sixteen. So the answer is five over sixteen. Now we definitely don't want to write all 10 possibilities out like we did in the previous one. All right. <clears throat> this one's a little more complicated. At least two heads. So we know that the two heads already is this. But I'm going to write out the whole thing. So it's going to be two heads. And I'm going to go ahead and just write one half here. Just remember, heads goes first and then tails, I guess. Or we could get three heads. And then two tails. Or we could get four heads. Or... There's your or coming in that we did in uh, our previous video. We could get five heads. All right. So basically, um, this equals 10. We already know that this, this should equal 10. And if you want to use a calculator, you can. So this would be 10 times 1 over 32. This is 10 as well. Plus 10 times 1 over 32. This equals 5. So that's plus 5 over 1 over 32. And to and then this one is 1. So this is plus 1 over 32. You add this up, we get 26 times 1 over 32. So because we have uh, 10 of these. Plus 10, so that's 26 of these, 1 over 32. And if you reduce that, that would be 13 over 16. Or you're welcome to, you know, use a calculator. I just did it in my head. All right. Um, I have one more video on this, a little more advanced, where our outcomes are not 1 half and 1 half all the time. All right. Have a nice day.